Sue. On this episode of the Buzz Club, we're going to take a look at this hen of the woods. It's also called the maitake in Japan, meaning the fungus of the mai tree. In the United States, it most often grows at the base of oak trees during the months of September and October, depending on where you live. What's interesting is how many organisms live within this mushroom high-rise condominium. Let's take a look. Notice the many overlapping layers and levels of the fronds that grow from the base of the stem and give it its name, Griffola frondosa. First, take a look at the underside of this mushroom and notice that there are small pores and that the color is white. This makes this mushroom a polypore. It's one of the fleshier polypores and is a delicious edible as well as a medicinal fungus. But here we start to find evidence of creatures living within. There's excrement from a slug, the dark black squiggle, and you can even see some shiny glistening slug trails there. And all throughout this mushroom, I found hidden slugs. This is the common garden slug, and we'll talk about that in another movie. It's easy to recognize slug damage on a fungus as scraping marks from the radula, its scraping tongue. Here you see the groove side by side as the slug scrapes away at the tissue. And here again, you can see those scraping marks of its radula. But look at these two organisms that are also in this condominium. Here we have a segmented worm, very small indeed. And I found hundreds of these crawling around this maitake mushroom. In small hidden pockets, there were dozens of these worms gathered together, mostly for reproduction as they are hermaphroditic. That means each worm is both male and female. Look what's here and notice that it crawls to find the dark spot. When I flip it over, it moves to find the dark spot again. That's because it lives in the leaf litter and is one of nature's best recyclers breaking down leaves into smaller and smaller pieces. A sow bug does not roll up into a little ball. That would be a pill bug. And the sow bug has two little appendages at the end of its body. You see them sticking out there at the bottom? That also helps to identify a sow bug from a pill bug. I hope you've enjoyed taking a peek inside the Maitake Mushroom Hotel today. See you next time.